Hey y'all doing this Rob Burnham make you up with your man on being the snow episode of Richard TV91. This time I'm doing another episode of movie reviews. This time we're reviewing Highlander 2. And what Highlander 2 is about, it starts off with uh we get some flashback scenes of Duncan and Ramirez back in their original time. Now we get some backstory on the immortals. Uh what happens is is they're in a a distant past, but it's kind of futuristic. It's kind of confusing. But what happens is, is the immortals who uh, rebel, they get sent back, or they get sent forward into a future timeline, and that's what starts the quaking and the gathering and whatnot. And whoever's the last one has the option to either die an old man or an old woman or come back to their original timeline. Now, Duncan, as of right now, I mean, not Duncan, Connor, I'm, I'm, I'm so focused on the Duncan TV series, the Highlander TV series, Connor is an old man, and uh, he's just trying to live his life out and trying to die of old age, and then an uh, old enemy called Katana, who is the reason Connor and Ramirez got sent to the future in the first place, thinks that Connor is going to come back and take over because he has that right. So Katana uh, sends two of his assassins at Connor, and Connor takes their, their heads and they're quaking him. Because whenever these two assassins showed up, Connor became immortal again. So he takes their quaking him and powers himself back up, and now he's younger again, and he's a full-fledged immortal again. So Katana comes and tries to take out Connor himself. Now a little backstory, uh, since 1999, uh, Connor helped make this uh, shield generator to save people of Earth because the sun was still, was killing them. So they put the shield up, and that way the radiation can't help hurt nobody. Or well, whenever they put the shield up, the radiation went away. And Connor finds this out, Connor's been trying to stop the sh uh, shield generator for a long time. And what happens is, is like I said, Katana shows up and then Katana attaches Connor throughout this movie. And for the end, uh, middle of the movie, uh, right after Connor is set to fight with one of the assassins, he calls for Ramirez again. Ramirez comes back to life and finds Connor and helps Connor out. And then Ramirez winds up dying again, losing his question to, 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 to uh, Katana. And then Katana and uh, Connor had their final fight and Connor, Connor is able to defeat Katana, take his place in and with all that power, Connor steps into the uh, shield generator and is able to destroy it and stop it and uh, take down the shield and the earth is no longer shielded from the sun because well, there's no more radiation. And other than that, it's all that really happened. My question for y'all is if y'all have ever watched Highlander 2, would y'all like that? Because always Rob Burn and keep on the sun. Ready for this movie? It's probably going to be a 9 out of 10.